Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm actually going to be talking about five things I like about Eau Claire and five things I hate about Eau Claire. So if that's something that you're interested in, we're going to talk all about it pretty soon. Stay tuned. Fun fact, did you know that Eau Claire was actually ranked the third top livable city in the United States in 2021 and the fifth top livable city in the United States in uh, 2020. That's based on medium incomes, medium house prices. Uh, <clears throat> hey guys, so we're out and about now and we're gonna take you around town uh, near Phoenix Park, uh, show you around Lowe's Creek, one of our favorite places to go hiking with Daisy. Right, Daisy? <laughs> Alrighty, my first pro of living in Eau Claire is going to be the cost of living. Cost of living is one of the more, most important things, in my opinion. How far does your dollar stretch where you live? In Eau Claire, uh, house prices average, uh, pr house price is about 222000 versus the average house price in the USA is right around 292000 So house, house prices are quite a bit lower. Uh, average rent prices are also quite a bit lower. I'm actually going to do a whole video on the cost of living in Eau Claire versus other areas because I think it's such an important thing to talk about, especially if you're considering moving to this area. You want to know what you're getting into, what kind of jobs can support you. Another reason why I love Eau Claire is the expansion of the industry. For example, there's another building right behind me going up downtown in Eau Claire. The downtown has really been revamped over the past few years. A lot of new buildings uh, have been fixed up, remodeled. There's a lot of new buildings that are going up downtown as well. There yeah. is the whole downtown here is very neat. This big black building behind me right here is called the Lismore. That less than 10 years ago used to be the ugliest nastiest building downtown and and they turned it into a one of the nicest hotels in Albo Fair right downtown which it doesn't sound like that big of a deal but when you make downtown nicer you just want to go down there more often and the businesses in town just get utilized more here's the districts and then a multi-million dollar project is Pablo Center here in downtown Albo Fair and then on the other side over here is the Haymarket Landing, which is a college dormitory. And then there's some commercial space down there, an ice cream shop down there. And then they created this little outdoor area for um, hanging out. I know skateboarders. Um, and this is a there's a river right behind me over here too. So it's a really nice spot. Uh, you know, in the summer, it's a it's a really hot spot. People are always down here. They get their ice cream. They come down here. They walk across the bridge that I'm about to show you guys. So right now, uh, they just built this bridge that I'm walking across right now, and they um, it's kind of a cool little neat area right here. This is where the Chippewa River and the Eau Claire River actually come together. Uh, as you can see, this is right where they intersect. And then behind me on this bridge is the Eau Claire River, and over. I know I'm spinning a lot here. Over here is the Phoenix Park, which is kind of a famous downtown park. And then the RCU building here. And that actually brings me into my next pro of Eau Claire. And that's gonna be the job opportunities. The job opportunities are really endless here. We have tech companies like Jamf. That's a worldwide tech company. Its hub is actually well, it started here in Eau Claire. Uh, we have RCU, which is a big employer in town. It's a Royal Credit Union, big bank headquarters right behind me. The um, Pablo Center, they employ a lot of people across town. They run a lot. No matter what kind of economy it is outside, people still need things manufactured and they still need uh, heavily agriculture too. So they still need food. They still need things manufactured. Uh, so in the last recession, you know, we didn't have the widespread uh, job loss and foreclosure market and there were still foreclosures and job losses, but we didn't have widespread and it wasn't a, uh, a complete shutdown like other back. Especially um, another thing is that we have a very good college in town here, which supply, gives us a steady supply of very skilled uh, workers uh, staying in the community. So that's a huge engine too. There's a lot of professors, teachers, 
um, staff, but maybe thousands of people that are hired by the university to keep that place running. The third thing I love about Eau Claire is all of the outdoor activities there are to do here. I have been here for about 10 years and every year I find another trail, another, another, um, another park, another biking trail or some other outdoor activity to do that I didn't know about the year prior. <clears throat> another, some other examples of outdoor activities to do is four wheeling. There is outdoor gun ranges. So I actually forgot to mention, I am at Lois Creek currently. It's, this is one of my favorite places to go hiking and bringing Daisy out to get some energy taken out, right? Um, and so this place has a bunch of 5Ks, different, I think they have a, uh, actually a marathon hosted here fat tire bike races, bike races, ski races. They have all sorts of stuff at this one place. So this is a pretty popular spot. It's right on the city limits of Eau Claire and it's about a 15 minute drive from the furthest point on the other, other side of Eau Claire. So that's another nice thing is you can get to outdoor activities within a very short drive wherever you're at in town. The fifth great thing I love about Eau Claire, Wisconsin is the people. People really are Midwest nice around here. They want to help you out uh, and you know help each other out. We truly do. So uh, that's my that's my fifth thing is just the people in this area. My first con is that um, Eau Claire is not overall very pet friendly compared to other larger cities I've visited in the past. I noticed that in other cities, it's very, very common to have uh, almost be welcoming to pets to come into your store or your outdoor restaurant. In Eau Claire, it's almost frowned upon. Maybe it's like an unwritten rule, but it's kind of, you get weird looks if you bring your dog places. a lot of dog parks, which is fun. Daisy loves going there, taking out some energy again. Um, and also the uh, brewing project downtown is actually a brewery downtown that way that allow us to, you to actually bring dogs in there, which is which is really cool, actually. It's the only, only place in Eau Claire that I know that you can do that. A con of living in Eau Claire, Wisconsin is the fact that it is frigid, cold. I think the past three weeks we've had the temperatures dipped under zero degrees, probably at least half of all those days. And some of those days, the max temperature was zero degrees. So you're obviously in a area in the northern half of the United States. You get a lot of snow, 42 inches of average snowfall every year. If you like snowmobiling like I do, you love the snow. I don't think there's anybody that I know of that likes negative 15 degrees or likes consistent zero degree days so that is definitely a negative for me and a lot of people living here is that it gets cold and also during the winter the days get short so the combination of cold and short days gets kind of draining but it does make it more interesting when you have four distinct seasons we have spring summertime fall Springtime is usually pretty wet because the snow is melting, but it's nice because you have you can start to see the grass start to green up. You can start to see flowers sprouting again. It's kind of refreshing. Summertime, awesome. Love it. So many things to do in the summer. The fall time, most beautiful time of the year in my opinion. Winter, it's a drag. Sometimes it lasts a little bit longer than you hope. And it can be definitely a, one of the bigger things that makes you wonder why I live here. But overall, living in Eau Claire is we don't have any professional sporting teams in the area so if you want to get a watch a baseball game or a basketball game it's like if you want to watch the Timberwolves in Minnesota it's about an hour and a half away which isn't the end of the world if you want to travel a little bit but we don't have anything downtown like there's no you know huge football arena or baseball or basketball arenas downtown Eau Claire Green Bay Packers which I just went to watch them a couple weeks ago lose in the playoffs. Hopefully it's not Aaron Rodgers' last game, but uh, it was, it's about a four hour drive. So it's, you know, it's kind of like a two day journey to get over there, watch the game, get back home and get situated. Um, and then the, if you want to watch the Brewers or 
the box play for basketball. It's even a longer journey from from here in Eau Claire down to Milwaukee. It's about a five hour drive. So that's definitely a two or three day activity. So that's the, that's the sec the other con that I have. The con of living in Eau Claire, Wisconsin is the nightlife. And some could argue that the nightlife is good. Some could argue that it's not as good. I've been to bigger cities and you have just more options in bigger cities. There's good dance bars here. There's good, and there's plenty of fun things to do at night that um, involve drinking. There's just not, like for example, there's not, um, I think, believe there's a comedy club, but they have, it's kind of on and off. It's kind of spotty. There's only one place that does and, it. So it's um, hard. You really don't have many options. So that's why it's my fourth. I still enjoy going out here and doing things with As friends. I but earlier, one of my favorite things to do for nightlife is going to the brewing project. They have good beer there. You can bring your dog. So like I said, that's, that's one of my favorite things to do. So you guys do get to town here. Go check out the brewing project. Fifth thing I dislike about living in Eau Claire is that we're not really close to a big national airport. The airport here is small. It's one terminal. It only makes trips to one place regularly. You can fly other places besides just to Chicago, but it's it's kind of spotty and not as often. Um, so that's the one downside. The closest airport to here is about an hour and 20 minutes, which isn't really isn't that bad. Uh, you know, whenever I go travel, I just, I drive over there. I pay for the park and fly and I fly out to wherever. So yeah, that's Minneapolis St. Paul airport. Um, and like I said, their Eau Claire airport just doesn't bring you out to very many places. So that would be my fifth and final con of living in Eau Claire. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and comment, uh, comment something you like or dislike about Eau Claire if you've been here before or a question if you're thinking about traveling. Hey guys, listen, if you are considering moving to Eau Claire, one thing you have to do is call us, call me. My number is down in the description. Shoot me a text message, email me, send me smoke signals, somehow get my attention so we can talk about your move to Eau Claire. We help hundreds of people every year move to this area and we definitely wanna be able to help you guys too.